The Special Immigration Visa Report is an ethnographic study that my colleague Noah Corbin and I conducted in early 2016 to look at the perception of the SIB program. Corbin uh, uh, conducted interviews in the US, in Los Angeles, San Diego, San Francisco and Washington DC with those Afghans who were resettled in the US. He has looked at the challenges the SIV applications face when resettling in the US and in the implication of this for the US government, which he has uh, highlighted in a separate podcast uh, that I'm not going to talk about those aspects here. In Afghanistan, uh, I looked at the impact of the SIV program on Afghanistan's economy and political future. The Special Immigration Visa program for Afghans was introduced in early 2004 to help save those Afghans who had served uh, uh, the United States uh, and the United States government uh, and whose life was in danger. Uh, so far the program has already issued over 40,000 visas uh, uh, to uh, applicants and in January 2016 still um, over 11,000 applicants were either pending or rejected. Um, although the program has been criticized uh, for the application, uh, criticized for various reasons that the application process has been confusing, that, uh, uh, that there has been lack of information, and that the, the, the program itself is favoring certain uh, ethnicities and tribal communities. Uh, overall, the application process has been quite straightforward with clear application guidance and um, uh, uh, in both languages, uh, English and local languages. Uh, the perception among civil society organizations, uh, government officials and uh, private sector representatives is that the SIV has had a major impact on Afghan economy uh, and Afghan polity. The perception is that the SIV has led to a brain drain problem. Uh, as those who are leaving uh, are often young, uh, educated, skilled laborers, leading to a shortage of qualified labor force uh, in the market in Afghanistan. A number of international NGOs in Kabul have complained uh, that they have been struggling to find qualified staff, especially at the managerial level, uh, because employees prefer to take jobs uh, uh, with the US uh, contractors that ensures them, that guarantees them SIV visa after two years of work. This is undermining the very uh, uh, organizations that the US is sponsoring in Afghanistan in areas of democratization and development. Um, the SIV program arguably is producing two dilemmas for the US. The first dilemma is how to strengthen Afghanistan's economy to guarantee successful military exit when some of the Afghans uh, who are educated and skilled laborers are leaving the country. Um, the second dilemma is how to strengthen Afghanistan's civil society and empower democratic va uh, values in the country when some of those uh, leaving the country are the most ardent and great advocates of liberal uh, values in the country and they are being resettled in the US. Overcoming these two dilemmas must be a key policy discussion for any future programming in, in the US. It's important to note that the Special Immigration Visa Program fulfills an important American commitment to Afghans who have worked for the United States and its effort in Afghanistan. The U.S. must take into consideration some of the longer-term consequences of the program uh, for the country and the recipient. And of course, a more integrated and better managed approach uh, with clear transparency elements uh, uh, in the program and effective public relations is key for any future programming. Ultimately, the SIV reflects the failure of the U.S. and Afghan government to create a politically stable and secure Afghanistan um, and ensuring that its citizens are pr protected around the country. And instead of focusing on a narrow group of Afghans who have been aiding the United States in its effort in Afghanistan, the US should make long-term commitment to supporting both financially and militarily an Afghan government that is able to uh, uh, provide security and is capable of
protecting its own citizens.